Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, episode number 162. Look, the store is, fake store is not behind me today. You're glowing. <laughs> <laughs> and and TC's <laughs> off to my right, yeah, okay. <laughs> which is weird, and, and uh, Melina is off to my left, which is even more weird. We're going to work this thing out. Look at that. We get TC, we call it <laughs> one eye, <laughs> one eye TC. <laughs> he comes into the shot. <laughs> get, yeah. There we Let go. It, let me be just a little more comfortable. <laughs> we'll get all adjusted here in a minute. Here, here's the biggest problem. The we had we had Bryce Gerard in the studio. That's what screwed it all up. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna blame it on him. We're gonna blame uh, him. CRKT was in the house today. We got to film some extra videos with them with all their 2021 stuff, which we cannot talk about yet. Nope. Shh, but it is all really cool. It is cool. And, uh, and they've had some serious innovations so far. Yeah. And. Uh, our customers are going to be really excited to see what, what they've got coming out. I would agree with that, 100%. Um, uh, what else is going on out there? Oh, 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 oh. Before I forget it, because I've memorized the name. Um, <laughs> Dave Edwards, he won the Jobo and the Knife Slips. See, guys, we're totally uh, bum-fuddled and crazy out here today because now we're doing the live before the taped. and We usually do the taped before the live. It's right. been a hectic day. It's, <laughs> it's, it's been a little bit odd. It's been a lot for my little brain. Um, and it's good Lord, uh, you Isaac's know, heart. TC and uh, Isaac were helping me film 18 Get to the Point, so <laughs> before we did all of that. So it's been a fun, crazy, crazy day. But Dave Edwards, you won the Jobo and the Knife Slips, and we'll get those out to you just as soon as we possibly can. If you don't know, 12 Days of Christmas is still going on at this very moment. Uh, it is the eighth day of Christmas. We put two new items up every single day at great prices. Uh, just pay attention to those, and two new ones will be up the very next day. So you have, what, f 12 days of Christmas? you got four days left after today. I can do the math. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even have to take my shoes off for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but that's going on and still $39 free shipping. So if you spend $39 or more, you'll get free shipping, free FedEx shipping to be exact. And that is still happening right there. Uh, do we have any questions, thoughts, concerns, anybody? They just log it in since we're at an odd time right now. Uh, she's giving me the shake off face with the, the, the concerned we're eyes we're shake off face. We're not doing it. Can we talk about the elephant in the room just it for a second? Is that. What I think it is, cold steel got sold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I put think us on a split, Isaac. I got to see his face as we talk about this. <laughs> I think that's been the question on uh, everybody's mind: is uh, wondering what the heck is going on. Um, so, did you see that? Okay, not only did cold steel get sold to GSM, uh, but uh, it, like two days later, Lynn Thompson hits a video and <laughs> says, <laughs> "Relax." Yeah. It's all going to be fine. Me and Andrew Demko are not going anywhere. They're staying on. Now, here's the thing, I, and and I got to give my take on this, my my kind of opinion, I guess. Um, that video response was quite obviously canned. Um, he was reading, um, and there's nothing against that because right. I do that for 90% of my videos that I make. So <laughs> I understand that completely. However... To me, that was not Lynn Thompson. That was okay. not who we've come to know over the last 40 years. Yeah, because Lynn Thompson's Steel. been a lot of fun on his videos. And I think there are things he needed to say and wanted to say. Right. And if you let Lynn Thompson be Lynn Thompson, who so I've met him several times, it's, it's, you, you it's may leave out insane. two or three of those yeah. things. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a full opinion on it. I don't know what exactly is going to happen. We've seen brands change hands before and they right. are just fine. Uh, we've seen brands change hands before and they change. But uh, it sounds to me like they're keeping Lynn Thompson in place and they're keeping Andrew Demko in place. And uh, now they're going on. I think the uh, was that the CEO of uh, uh, Molina? Was that the CEO of GSM who asked them? Did you see that video where they were asking? They're basically asking um, what you love in the Cold Steel line and what you would yes. like to see in the future. And I, I saw another one um, actually that was posted, I think, just today or mm -hmm. maybe last night. Um, where they were asking uh, their Cold Steel fans what their favorite discontinued model was. Yes. And that they're considering, you know, if they, get, them back. If they, if they get an overwhelming amount of, of one specific thing, bringing that model back, which I think that's really cool. Yeah. I like that direction. Um, and I got to say, today, in honor of this discussion, I am carrying 
my code four. Nice. So, yeah. Are you raising your hand out of the corner of my eye? No. Okay. Hey, hey, <laughs> I, hey, Isaac, will you put the uh, corner logo in? <laughs> oh, that that was actually my fault. <laughs> that was my fault. I did not. I was put like, that one something's up. missing. Why am I seeing TC's arm? Why? <laughs> we can't see your we arm. We only need to see one arm. <laughs> His guns beat mine. That's too much skin. <laughs> too much. Skin. I honestly I think that GSM is going to make a great effort to, just to go back to this discussion for half a second, I think GSM is going to make a great effort to build the brand. I think that's what they tried to make clear yeah. through Lynn's video. Um, I don't think they're going away. Cold Steel's been an excellent brand, but if you know this industry at all, it is hard. It is hard to keep being a knife manufacturer in the United States. It yeah, just is. It is. Um, it is a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of things that you have to juggle all at once. And with the nature of the beast changing as much as it had during the pandemic and with um, just... Uh, Fulfillment now is they're starting to happen more direct sales and that kind of stuff. Right, so right. And, you know, it, it one of those things, too, I think what what is driving er everybody going crazy about this deal is um, Cold Steel has always been such an uh, interesting mm -hmm. um, uh, package there. Th they've always been very uh, edgy as far as their marketing and their promotions. And uh, that's what's so unusual to see them um, sold to a conglomerate like that. Uh, people are wondering if that's going to continue, if they're going to continue with that edginess and that attitude that everybody knows from Cold Steel. Is Cold Steel Cold Steel without that? Right. Exactly. I, I don't know the answer to that question. We'll see. But we'll see. We shall see. Um, I'm not going to try to induce any panic buying in Cold Steel where you would buy lots from our but store. You know I what? Just <laughs> but you, you know what? If you felt like it, they're still... They still exist, and they're still going to be making sharp and pointy things, and that makes us happy. It does. Yeah, like I say, if you wanted to buy some cold steel before the switchover, we've got lots of it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that, an AD15? Uh, no, code four. Code four. Code four. Nice. I like nice, it. Nice, it's nice, nice and thin. Nice, nice. Any questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? Uh, that is actually a empty box. Um, there's nothing in that box. That is what my S.E. Zancudo came in. Mm. So I, I decorated my little office desk area um, with uh, boxes from uh, knives that I have purchased with uh, my money. Because we're just paying him in knives now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what <laughs> they should be doing. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Step Number one. <laughs> <laughs> Cut a hole in the box. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> Though we could do it, we will not be. <laughs> John Doe has the upper hand. <laughs> What's in the box? <laughs> no more Morgan Freeman. Let's jump into this show. We've got five great items to get through today, including an SMKW exclusive. Um, we're going to start off with a brand new series from Case. Uh, this happens to be probably my favorite thing that they brought out, at least in this last quarter of the year. This is Red Pearl Kieranite again, but these all have nickel silver center bolsters. And guys, if you have not seen red any of the kieranite, the pearl kieranite to be exact, it's gorgeous. It has a very deep, deep look to it. It is a composite material. It's a fancy but composite material, but this is red pearl kieranite, and it has nickel silver center bolsters. Let's look at it in two, and I'll try to show you exactly what I mean by this. So you can see how depth the depth is in that. When I move that, look how the luster happens in those handles. It's just gorgeous. Uh, I think there are like eight or ten uh, knives in this particular series from Case. Th all of them feature True Sharp Surgical Steel Blades with the mirror polish finish. Um, the handles, they're all red pearl kieranite on both sides. You can see that right there. Those four pins that happen on each side are brass as well are the uh, liners here. So you got brass liners on there. Nickel silver high polish bolsters on the end of this canoe, and then a nickel silver center bolster. It happens on every one of the patterns. Has a laser embellished um, case XX uh, mark right there in the center of all of these, which I think makes it look great. If you're not familiar with this pattern, this is the full size canoe. It is 3.625 inches closed. Has a large spear and a small spear blade. And this particular one in my hand goes for $77.99 at SMKW.com. Uh, lots of great patterns in this series, and I just I stink and love it. I mean, I think. What do you think of that, TC? I think uh, I mean, 
I love it's traditional good. slip joints, and uh, like we said, we've we've had one of their cure nights uh, on the show before, and like you said before, showing it on camera does not do it justice. You have to see this thing in person to see just how deep that stuff looks. It's almost like there are like you know two to three to four layers deep of stuff, and every yeah. time you move it, you can see it is um. It has that parabolic effect, right. so you just and I, I might have made this um, comparison before when we looked at it, but it's like the old school, like 1957 Chevy with the candy yes. apple red paint job, and it's just got like 20 clear coats on top that yes. just make it look like you can just reach in and just grab it and pull it out. Look at that with my pretty green in the shot right there. It's Christmas time, boys and girls. Ching 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 ching. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, there are eight to ten of these patterns, seventy-seven ninety-nine at uh, smkw.com right now, and that would get you free shipping. That would get you free shipping for sure. Next up, boys and girls, an SMKW exclusive. I have been chomping at the bit to show you for quite some time. Uh, you don't get much better than this, to, at least in my opinion. It's a Kershaw, number one. Number two, it is a budget-friendly Kershaw. It is an upgraded steel Kershaw. Beyond that, this is a Dmitry Sinkovich design. You guys have know how much I love Dmitry. This is a tumbler. This is the SMKW exclusive red tumbler. It's red G10 with a carbon fiber overlay. And uh, honestly, that is G10 and carbon fiber that are infused together, and then that is carved off. Let's go to two. I'll just show you exactly what's here. So what you're talking about here is... And again, an SNKW exclusive. Uh, Dmitry Sinkovich design. It's the Tumbler. It is a 3.25 inch D2 trailing point blade with a stone wash finish. 0.12 inches thick. Nice jimping there on the backspacer and all of that. Manual flipper, KVT ball bearing pivot, subframe lock on this thing. Handles, G10. This is carbon fiber. These were fused as one piece and then that is carved off to leave that top layer where it is lanyard hole, ambidextrous tip-up pocket clip, fantastic design, backspacer, again, is black, all the hardware is black, and then you've got a bead-blasted pivot collar, a special pivot collar on this tumbler as well. When you close this thing down, it is 4.5 inches closed. There's what it looks like on the front. There's what it looks like on the back. And then opening it, it's super swift. And it's hard to believe that's a subframe lock as easy as that one is to go. It's 7.4 inches overall and weighs just 2.6 ounces. Again, that is the SMKW exclusive Kershaw Tumbler. It is $64.95. <coughs> Excuse me, boys and girls. That's beautiful. Isn't it? It oh, is. Look at that and I, I know you like Sankovich designs. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I think the whole world knows. I <laughs> I'm just, I'm shocked. Okay, so the biggest problem with a subframe lock is that you get your fingers on top of it and you can't flip the flipper. This one is big enough that there is not that problem at all. This finger right here fits nicely in that space and you can just pop it open with no problem yeah. whatsoever. You know what I haven't done with this yet? Cut paper. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Dun Let's see. Did they sharpen up that D2? Because we'll see. I will stop at that point. That, yep. It quit while you're ahead. That's a good one. That's a, it's got it. It's got Six, it. Sixty four ninety five. Uh, I can't think of a better Christmas present right there as that SMKW exclusive, to be dead honest. That's for somebody who's been good on your list. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's beautiful. And of course with the red handle, I mean it's it's perfect for Christmas. It's nice. I dig it. I dig it a lot. What do they think about this thing out there, Melina? Love it. And I mean look at the size of that thing and it only weighs two point six ounces. So it is it's like your O four sixty went on it when uh did not go on a diet. So it, it suffered the pandemic and got fat. I mean, that is <laughs> really uh, exactly what that looks like to me. Yeah. Um, it is a fat version of the 0460. Got a kind of an upswept blade, but still a drop point out towards the tip instead of sweeping all the way up. Mm, just nice. I dig it a lot. <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and stare at it. Kershaw's got it going on. 
they do. Uh, and we've been lucky enough to pick up some really cool exclusives this year. Uh, what else? Any other questions, comments? You know, I probably didn't say at the very beginning that we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Nine Forks, smkw.com, like you all did not know that, <laughs> since it's on my hat and his hat and in the corner. Oh, wait. It's the corner that's over there beside Stretch your arm out for him, DC. It's, it's right over it. Almost. There. It's yeah, there you go. It's right <laughs> there. This is weird. Uh, it's, it's it is so, it's it messes job. with your brain completely yeah. to do that. You had a question? Yes, uh, Okay. 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 And then I'll buy that. Will there be more Rough Rider reserves coming with a single blade? Of course there will. And <laughs> it's probably on the other tab, so I, they may have answered. Where can we obtain that black hat? I don't know whether they meant yours or TC's. Okay, if you're talking about TC's, they're still coming in. They're coming. Um, they are. They're not here yet. That is the new logo where we've dropped the dot com. Uh, and put the log back in the logo, and um, those are coming. My hat, um, I think this is one of the ones I had made, so uh, it, it's not available. This is a one of a kind. I'll sell it for a couple hundred dollars if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I'll even sign the underside of the brim. They said they really like the new sticker. Uh, the sticker's good. Look at this. Look, yeah. look, look, I have it in my hand. Uh, the This is the new logo, like the corner logo right there, but that's the new sticker going in the box right now with almost every single order, so... Uh, check out your box if uh, you haven't found one of these floating around in there. It is in there. That is the new sticker from SMKW. I like it, too. Okay, let's jump into the next thing if there are no more questions at this moment. No? I feel so cut off because I'm only looking forward, and they're both out of eye shot <laughs> at this point. Okay, so we're starting to carry Squid industry stuff, guys. I am terrible at this. Uh, I promise you I you just cut off finger all off. my fingers. <laughs> If I did it, uh, but this is a Squiddy B. It's a Balasong trainer. We are carrying all of the Squid industry stuff, at least starting to. And what I have in my hand right here is a Squiddy B. Uh, these apparently are among the very best trainers on the market. They uh, teach you how to do this stuff without killing yourself. But I'll bring it down here and show it to you and tell you what's in this particular one. And I apologize for the notes already. For some reason, uh, a white one was in the black box and a black one was in the white box. So we have the white version on the screen right now. Uh, this is a 54.99 trainer. It features a 5.2 inch white acetyl thermoplastic unsharpened blade and a black acetyl hand, I'm sorry, a white acetyl handle. You have bronze washer pivots. You have Zen pins and this has no latch on it whatsoever. It is 5.5 inches closed. So it closed down to that. And then it is 10 <laughs> inches. It is 10 <laughs> inches <laughs> overall and weighs just 2.6 ounces. But apparently these are perfect for training. I mean, if, if you look at these when you hold it up, if you get it back on camera one, there you go. Nope. 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 <laughs> it's a squid. Do you see the squid? <laughs> He's got two little eyes. Squidward. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> we that, that's, that's why it's a squid. <laughs> I cannot do this at all. I mean, I have a great deal of respect for the people that can, especially the ones that still have all their fingertips. Right. Uh, but I cannot do it. But these guys, we, we've, we've had people begging for these forever. We now have Squid Industries, and we have the Squiddy Bees, and we have some other different stuff. Go check it out on the site uh, and just do those. Do you flip knives, TC? Um, not very well. I can a little bit, um, but not, not very well. Um, they terrify me, I'm just going to be honest. Um, but I really do like the... Uh, the popularity of the trainers because uh see what I cut my finger <laughs> there are so many people that you know i mean i grew up in the 80s oh yeah when they were super popular and there were a ton of injuries i can't tell you how many people i've seen that have like really sliced their fingers open with mm -hmm. those things and you know the fact that we've got trainers now so that you can practice and get good with it before you cut your fingers before off. you actually cut your fingers off yeah. yes <laughs> Apparently, you have not lived as a flipper bef until you have cut yourself really good. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, we've got them now, guys. They're out there. This one's fifty four ninety nine. They're various prices on the website. Go check out all the Squid Industries, uh, Squiddy Bees, and the other stuff from Squid Industries that are on the site right now. Questions, comments, thoughts, concerns. <coughs> Where's Jason been all this time? Hiding. <laughs> <laughs> Jason has been hiding. We've had a full house up here. I don't. I don't. Uh, you know, we have not eliminated Jason from the show, but <laughs> he has been very busy. <laughs> <laughs> that whole department has been slammed. Everybody's been slammed. You guys yeah. have been really good to us this Christmas, and that just means we have to work that much more, which is just insanity. Um, up next is a knife I've been trying to show you for a while. Uh, it, it is the Mini Osborne from Benchmade. Look at that. Look at that. This is a baby Osborne right here. That is a 945 BK1 Mini Osborne. It is smaller than the standard Osborne but it still has the exact same shape, uh, the same action. The, all of it works great. You can swing it open, swing it closed, uh, access lock, the whole bit. In fact, let's show it down here on camera, too, and I'll tell you about what's in this thing. Are we going to stay with the split? Do you think I can do it? <laughs> <laughs> Just poke Isaac when he falls asleep over there, and we can get him back on the game. It has a 2.9-inch CPM S30V reverse Tanto blade, uh, with a black Cerakote finish. Uh, it is 0.1 inches thick, dual thumb studs for ambidexterity. Uh, then you have an axis lock as well. You can put that open there. Uh, black G10 handles with the blue base, which I thought was a great touch to this knife. Look at those blue barrel spacers as well, anodized. Lovely, lovely on this knife, just all the way around. You're talking about an ambidextrous uh, tip-up split arrow pocket clip. There's the split arrow pocket clip right there. It is 3.84 inches closed. There's the front of this knife. Here's the back of the knife. And then once you get this thing open, you can pop it like just like that. 6.76 inches overall, 2.19 ounces. Made in the USA. Five inch made. This knife is $174.25. It is the new Mini Osborne. Pop it like that. Just pop it like it's hot. Yes, pop it like it's hot. <laughs> pop it like it's hot. <laughs> I think I, I honestly think that's exactly what Isaac needs to get. He was he was talking about the other day splurging for Christmas. His uh, first big knife purchase uh -huh. and uh, something like that being maybe an option because he really likes the axis lock. Um, although I don't I don't know how he's going to do with the uh, thumb studs. Don't like a thumb stud. <laughs> Thumb studs take practice, and then, you know, when you're shown up by somebody else, uh, <laughs> you get challenged. <laughs> you, you learn to do it faster. I'm not going to say any names of anybody who showed me up with a thumb stud, but it taught me to get in there and practice. So I these, uh, and I'll tell you this, Isaac, these are among the very easiest with the thumb studs yeah. to use. The axis so lock makes that perfect. Oh, it was on such a roll today, too. Yeah. Mini Osborne. I'm going to tell you guys, these sell out quickly. So if you want one, you should probably jump on it and get it. Again, it was uh, $174.25 at smkw.com. Links, as always, are in the caption of this video. You can go to the one link and see everything that is on the show. I like it. Melina, yeah. what do you think of it? I think it's awesome. She's not really listening. <laughs> <laughs> She's having fun in the uh, comments talking I, about I'm my sure. hate. Your hate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's hate is on the way. <laughs> that was quite hilarious. <laughs> uh, his hate. <laughs> yes, hate on it. Hate on it. Nice. That is a, uh, is it an adjustable hate or is it a fitted hate? <laughs> <laughs> My hate's adjustable, <laughs> depending on what we're talking about. <laughs> uh, structured hate is better than unstructured hate. I'm just going to tell you straight away. <laughs> I mean, the audio was a little bit low. Yeah. That's what I said before we started. <laughs> Hang on just one second. I got this. I got this. I'm going to talk and see if the volume goes up in my ears as we speak. It just went up in your ears. It did. I, I hear myself better now. It was kind of echoey there for a little bit. But it sounds better now. Mm. I'm going to have some more of my cherry limeade. We'll go on to the All next right. thing. Question. No, oh, look. What? Huh? They, uh, well, they're not saying whether it's any better or it not. Well, it's kind of not quite got to them yet, right? It 
It's I mean, it's <laughs> like a water pipe. It, it, it <laughs> takes a while. Yeah. We're about 30 seconds behind. Yeah, especially on YouTube. Yeah. So I mean, it's much louder. At, it, at least in here, it is much louder. Uh, whether that's f- the meter is definitely louder um, for their feed. So um, yes, <coughs> if we go any louder, it's it's gonna be like. <laughs> okay, in 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 the name of time, we're gonna move right on to the very next item, yes. and hopefully the sound did come up. And if it doesn't come up, let us know, and we'll work on it more for the next show. Um, so very last item of the day. Well, not the very last item. They have kind of a surprise item to show you after this. Uh, Cases has another series that has come out called the Heartleaf Bermuda Green Bone Series. Um, I don't think the pictures in the catalog did this justice or on the website did this justice until I held it and really looked at it. I could not believe uh, the amount of work that went into the handles and into the uh, uh, bolsters on this thing. So let's go down to two and I'll show you this thing um, exactly what's here. So you're talking about genuine bone handles. And they're calling this Bermuda green bone heart leaf. And so you can see that the leaves look like ivy. That's laser embellished. So those are 3D. Those are embossed into that bone handle. If you look closely at the nickel silver bolsters, you're going to see that they have a laser embellishment as well, including the XX logo right here in this bolster. You have a filigree uh, case shield right there. And then uh, the handles of uh, the blades, of course, are true sharp surgical steel with the mirror smeared finish <laughs> <laughs> from the whole knit. That's a custom. It was a custom. This is a tribal lock that I have in my hand, guys. If you don't know this knife, uh, this is a Tony Bowes knife pattern, uh, the tribal lock. It is a lock back. I'm going to try not to goop up the handles again, but you lock it back there. And it's a sp- almost a spear would be considered a spear in traditional series uh, uh, knives. Four and a quarter, I'm sorry, four and an eighth inch close, so the same length as a trapper, but a big beefy blade on this tribal lock. And of course, there's the lock that's right on the back. Bunches of different knives in this particular, look how that glows. Man, look at that. Look that how it glows. Look at the edges, how they glow. Your cheeks, how merry. <laughs> this is a tribal lock. It's eighty four ninety nine at smkw.com. I really dig this knife. Um, it's very different from what everything else that's out there right now, but uh, they put some effort into it, and I kind of dig it. What do you think? You can, you can say you don't like it. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> is it you? Is this a you knife? Because I, I want us to be honest on this show. So that one is a knife that I would add to my collection and absolutely never use. Right. Absolutely. I, I was would, thinking the same. Thing. I would never I would never cut even a piece of paper with that. So especially with Tony um, Bowes passing, get the Tony Bowes pattern. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, that's that's a beautiful knife and it it would definitely become a part of my collection, but I would never ever cut anything with it. I would never even carry it in my pocket. It would go in my case, mm-hmm. um on my knickknack shelf. Um, mm-hmm. with my knife collection, and that's where it would stay, and it would get dusted off every once in a while and uh, oiled and all that jazz, and that's that's where it would stay. So, yeah, no, I'm with you on that. I'm sorry, geez, uh, Isaac, were you going to jump in there? No, it was me. Oh, Melina, sorry. See, yeah, I, I can't see you. anybody. It's like being a blind person. <laughs> Who's calling to me? <laughs> <laughs> so I would absolutely use it, and I think it's pretty because um, I don't think it's even that expensive. 84.99. Yeah, no. That's not I'm bad. I'm gonna use my uh, lion steel, so <laughs> I would absolutely use. So that's the problem. I'm I'm with I'm with her on this, and it's not that I wouldn't say exactly what TC said and exactly what Isaac agreed on. It's that I would say all that, <laughs> 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 and then suddenly it'd be in my pocket, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be using it. So, um, I, it's you know the best laid intentions of mice and men. Off go astray. That's yeah. exactly it. But I mean, the tribal lock's a great knife. This uh, Heartleaf Bermuda is is fun. It's different, um, and it's very dressy. Uh, so go check those out. There's like eight. I think there are eight patterns in that series on the website. Something like that. I like all the clicky clicky noises we get to when we turn up the sound. It's like little mice. <laughs> 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 That's the last show knife that I have on, but we have another knife. Are we going to do this as a Molina's pick, or do you just want yes. me to show it? Just do it as a Molina's pick. Okay. You've already got it. Just 
I if, haven't even seen this one. If you were in the uh, SMKW Army Facebook group, then you were privy to this on Thursday at noon. We have an SMKW exclusive Pena coming. Oh. Yes, this is brown burlap micarta. I'll go to two so you guys can see it up close. I don't have the specs on me, so I don't know. Um, it is a front flipper trapper Pena. It is... M390 on the blade with a brushed satin finish, and that looks like you've got dual brushed finish. So the grinds all go up and down. The flats go horizontal. Um, I'm guessing that's a titanium uh, bolster. I don't know that for sure, but it's a Pena, so that's what it is. And brown burlap micarta. You can only get these at uh, smkw.com. They will be available starting at noon Eastern on Thursday, which is two days from today. So noon Eastern, be ready to look this knife up in the Pena brand if you want it. It is a nice liner lock. Um, the action is kind of strange. So you can see it is a front flipper, and that's why this is a front flipper trapper. And you kind of have to get it in the right spot. But once you do, it goes. I use my thumb. I think you guys were using, were <laughs> using a finger. I did use my index finger and yeah. didn't have any issues with it. I tried it, uh, it's, I, and I, I flip like Isaac does with the front finger. So... I just want to say I played with this knife for like <laughs> five minutes and I was able to open it a couple times. So it wasn't like too complicated. No. Oh, and I have a link for them. Oh, you do? I do. Wow. The link that actually goes to this product page? Yes. So it's listed as out of stock right now. Yes. And nice. It'll go. They will be in stock on Thursday at noon was the last that I heard. And is there a price on that page? There is. <laughs> <laughs> two seventy five. Two seventy five is what these are going for. I'm going to tell you right now. We have very few. One hundred. Wow. It's a limited run of one hundred pieces. Limited run of one hundred pieces. <sighs> this is an SMKW exclusive. You cannot get it anyplace else, guys. If you've been following the Pena knives that are out there, you know they go like wildfire anyway. So this one's going to go just as fast. I'm so and mad right now. Go ahead and tell them that we're not giving it away. We are not giving it away. Nope. <laughs> we have to give this one back. This is one of the samples. Can they do a email reminder for this? Uh, yes, they should be able to. They should be able to, but also... I also want to point this out to you. Go, let's go back to one real quick. Um, about email notifications. I've been saying this wrong to you for a long time, and I'm going to apologize right here on camera. I am sorry that I've been saying this wrong to you. When we first started doing email notifications, they came out whenever that product hit. And so that's what I've been saying all along. And then in talking to our webmaster, that's not how it works. In fact, they go out all at the same time overnight. So if a product were to hit at noon and you had the email notify on, you're not going to get notified till in the middle of the night. That email is not going to go out till then. And so that was to stop us from sending people 30,000 emails whenever they've signed up for a ton of stuff. They all just go out at once. So I'm going to say this to you about these Pena's. Do not trust your email notification to make sure you get one. Go on, bookmark the link, go on at noon and get it. Because by the time 10 o'clock rolls around, we may not have any left. They go that fast. Anybody else want to talk? I'm blind <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a, it is so it a frame lock or a liner lock? It is a, uh, it is a frame, frame lock. lock. Yeah. Yes. It is a frame lock that has... Uh, and the reason I said that the brown burlap micarta goes over the edge of the frame. Yeah. Right there. So it is actually a frame lock. That's My just bad. <coughs> that's that's beautiful. And I, I'm really mad about that right now because I don't have enough money for <laughs> all the things that I want, <laughs> especially a pina. I, I really uh, want that uh, knife real bad. It's it very, is, very nice. It's very attractive. It's very, very nice. It's beautiful. Thursday noon on the website. Follow the link that Melina put up. And uh, book th bookmark that page. Go back to it on Friday and get your uh, fancy pina. On Thursday. They go up on Thursday at noon. That's what I said. Thursday. Noon Eastern. Noon Eastern on Thursday. This is how I get reminded Thursday of at things. Noon. This is how I get reminded of things at home. You said Thursday. On no, I said Thursday. Thursday at noon. <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> noon. Hey, you know when it's coming out? Thursday at noon. Thursday. Is it Thursday at noon? Thursday at noon. I think <laughs> I think you're both wrong. It's Thursday at noon. <laughs> <laughs> so to be clear, <laughs> Thursday at noon. Okay. As he hasn't talked in like 
20 minutes, <laughs> and like, all of a sudden... It's like the voice wait. of God from La Follette, <laughs> just to be clear. Hey, shout out to La Follette. That's probably the most people's ever heard of it right uh, now. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> the Book of Commandments from Fo- La people Follette. Are, <laughs> people are flooding Google Maps right now. <laughs> Where's La Follette? <laughs> well, you just follow the road up there. You Take a ride at Larry's barn. La Follette the road. <laughs> so there have been Ooh. two suggestions for giveaway, giveaway. map. Okay. Of course they have. Of Tumblr course. was one. Yes. Uh huh. And the Benchmade was the other. Of course the Benchmade. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got a coin? Anybody got a coin? No. I, I don't carry. You got one of them nothing. fancy dice over there. If no. it lands on a six. <laughs> <laughs> does she have a fancy die? She really no, does. No. She don't want to use it though. <laughs> oh, she found a coin. This is a uh, Washington State coin. Nice. A, um, a fancy little... Um, What's the year on it? I'm trying to find the year. I'm just too old to read it. Good Lord. We <laughs> Do we not have our own coins? Like SMKW coins? This is a 2007 Washington so- State coin. 2007. Okay, here's the deal. Kershaw Tumblr's heads. Pinch made Minnie Osborne is Tails. We're going to flip. Tails, it is. So what are we giving away? Pinch made, Pinch made Osborne. Osborne. Nice. Yep, that is happening. Goodness. So Merry Christmas. Yeah, Goodbye. Merry Christmas to somebody for sure. Um, so what have they got to do? They got to do something good. Yeah. <laughs> 200 push-ups. You've got to really entertain the crap out of us. I'm here to tell you that right now. Mm. I need you to write a response. Tell me why you need this bench made Osborne. And I want it to be more than one sentence. Oh my God. <laughs> That's what I want. You're going to be writing a <laughs> research There's going to be paper. someone with, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, you're going to get dissertations on That's right. why someone needs That's right. that bench made. And, and the, the more you entertain us, the better off you are in this competition, <laughs> even though we're drawing for random. <laughs> <laughs> but I love to. You guys read the comments on the YouTube videos, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness! Yes. Sometimes they're hilarious. So entertain us, enjoy us. Tell us why you need this Benchmade Mini Osborne, and it could be yours. We will let everybody know next Tuesday. Oh. I'm gonna use my burner account tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Comes in like three weeks after after the Christmas break. We we had to like <laughs> mail it to his uncle Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, in Kentucky. He got it back. Y'all see my bitch made Mini Osborne, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, I don't remember you buying a Mini Osborne. <laughs> I did. I sure did. <laughs> I sold plasma for a month. <laughs> then all of a sudden, <laughs> I, t- I turned into Whitney Houston. Show me the receipts. Show me the receipts. Okay, look, this could be yours. <laughs> Let me tell you, we are brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, SMKW.com, the world's largest knife store, uh, both in person and online. Come to the store, 108,000 square feet of retail showroom space. This is why I love a mini Osborne right here, uh, all that flicking around. But come to the showroom. Check it out. Enjoy everything that's here. Uh, hey, guys, did you notice the steps were up to the new space? Yes. <laughs> are, are you giving away our surprise video we made three months ago? <laughs> <laughs> Coming soon. We're trying to open up a In new section months. of the store, guys, but it's taking time. The pandemic has made it take time. So... Uh, that's happening in the showroom, but nothing is closed down. Everything is still available. Come join us and see us. Get your Christmas gifts here. Uh, keep paying attention to the 12 Days of Christmas still going on at this very moment. Um, are you laughing at me gesturing with the knife? That's <laughs> 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 what so I figured you were gesturing. Um, uh, 12 Days of Christmas still happening till the 12th, and, and then we'll roll right on into Christmas. You still have time to get the best Christmas gifts out there. Go to the promotions page. Check out all the different promotions that are on. Go to the Sightbusters page. Check out all the Sightbusters that are happening right now. It's Christmas time, guys. Just enjoy it. Uh, get everything you need from smkw.com because those are the best gifts anyway. That's the way it rolls. Follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> and if you so feel inclined... Subscribe to our YouTube channel, and as TC would say, smash that like button. That's right. That way you get your uh, notifications every single time, guys. You're going to get notified. And in fact, uh, (laughs) Sean Chesser upstairs said to me, uh, man, did you drop like four videos in one day? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. You got a question. Yes. (laughs) Two different people ask, do we have any new knife slips? 
coming in. Do we have any <laughs> new knives? I if you were going to bring that up. <laughs> um, no. Why are we on the torture cam? No, we, we do not have any new knife slips yet. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to bet that we have a bunch in the future because you guys have loved those things. For sure, for sure. <laughs> what else? Any other questions? Well, and speaking of ringing that notification bell, uh, we've got uh, a new uh, new series coming out on uh, the YouTubes and the Facebooks. Um, we're doing that Blade Steel yes. series, and uh, we're going to cover uh, different Blade Steels in depth. So tomorrow, is that right? Isaac? Yes. Tomorrow, S35VN. S35VN video is going to drop. Um, and we want you in the comments of that video to uh, let us know what you want to uh, what you want us to cover next. M390. M390? That's okay. what I want. All right. That's what I want. Absolutely. I want my Sounds grandpa's like carbon steel. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a firework. Like what? Some kind of explosive. M390. M390? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to tell you the way it cuts, and I will not cut with that pen yet, but it is M390. It cuts amazing. Uh, I know TC is fond of his S35 V, yeah, but yeah, the M390, but is, M390 is... is <laughs> you also pay, th- pay for it. You pay yeah. for it whenever you have it. So, um, What else, guys? Any other questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? That was dead right, silence. Uh, t- uh, tell them where to, on YouTube, where to leave a comment, not in the live chat. Yes, correct. Okay. So why couldn't you just say that? <laughs> because they don't listen to me. Okay. So <laughs> it, you can't leave your comments in the live chat. If you do, we can't connect to you. We cannot respond to you. We cannot <laughs> reply to you. So you need to leave your comments on the video itself. Otherwise, you don't get entered. So, I mean, I'm pulling random from the comments on the video, not on the live chat. So make sure you leave your comment on f- to win this mini Osborne um, on the video itself. What else? Anything? Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to leave my blind area here and tell you that Isaac has been off in the background with the voice of God from La Follette. Can we get a thumbs up, Isaac? (laughs) There's his little blue thumb. (laughs) (laughs) Like the girl in uh, Charlie and the Juggler. You guys have the infinity thing going on. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In the in the video screen here, <laughs> <laughs> we did that the other day and it like blew our mind. <laughs> oh yeah, because it was slightly delayed, so it was like a ripple going through there. <laughs> Isaac and TC tripping in the studio by themselves. <laughs> uh, so TC has been in the cockpit. Melina has been on torture cam with the concerned eyebrows. <laughs> 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 and my name is Andy. I'm your host of Guys Talk Knives. We're going to get out of here. We will see you on Thursday with a taped version, so tune in and we will live chat with you, and then we will be back next Tuesday with another live. Uh, Other than that, it's time to go. Thanks for watching, guys. We're out of here.